I hate without a cameraman. Everyone can whip their balls out later, alright? Even Lauren. Alright guys. Okay, sorry about that. I'm um, organising a little visit for Kiko. She's going to visit her family before all her brothers. So. Oh my god, <laughs> just said Kay was having a seizure salad. <laughs> oh wow. Alright guys, well welcome to this month's Fashion Parade theme blue. This is chosen by our last month's winner, Lockie. Now, this is Lockie, not just Tay and Lockie, this is Lockie alone. Now, please do remember that as we go through the order of Cam, Tay and Lockie, Lauren, Lockie, then myself, we will be going through and voting not only on the favourite outfit of each person, but also the winner overall. This is chosen by votes in chat, so please, if you can, stay active. Also, if you know anybody else who may enjoy this, you're welcome to quickly inbox them and harass them until they come. And they can also join the stream too. But anyway, we're going to get under the way, so Cam, if you'd like to settle down and head on backstage, please do, and we'll, we'll, we'll start off. Outfit one. Sinus sweater. So they've weirdly been addicted to simple sweaters with a heart and or tree on them. So um, they did one with a flower because over there it's spring. They've also seen a bunch of shirts with flower, uh, of a, with a flower with this color scheme. So they had to do um, dispense the brain worms. This is a cute little sweater. I actually love the sweater designs. They're something that originally I never got into, and then after seeing you guys do some simple ones like this, and oh, also the complex ones that some of you pull out at stages, I really do get into them. And they really, they're really something I do enjoy. So I, um, I think you can do a really good design on something like this without having to do a full dress. Excellent fashion. Outfit two. Sorry, I forgot to say that. I'm trying to get this to work. Okay. That was weird. I clicked for the lights and it didn't. Ah, oh, because I had a, a yeah. Anyway, uh, excellent fashion. Keeping it with the spring theme, they did an all blue jean overall plus dress combo with eggs on it because um it's spring. They wish they could design umbrellas plus use them indoors because they'd make one for this outfit. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. I, I love these ones. I think they're cute. I think this is what I love doing when you can see the the simple, like, it's obviously just a plain simple dress, but then you can turn it into more with design. It is cute and adorable and I do love it. And it's something Cam should wear in real life. And I think would kill it. Little cute one. And outfit three, which I did save it, had myself muted and almost forgot that I was muted. Ducky Delicates.
Now their final outfit is a pastel blue theme with a duck on it, cause why not? They don't know just the fact- oh. They don't know just the fact that spring is so soon made them want to do a- make a ducky dress with, um, picnicking vibes, so yeah. This is kind of inspired by Belle, um, by Bells, the trainer class, from Pokemon as well. I get that. I get that feeling. This is really cool. Uh, what wrong buttons, Joshua? I really love the pastels in this one. This is cute. The cute little design. It's beautiful colours. And I might just... So we can also see it. Oh! Because it's pastel. Both sides there. In the dark. Now who left? Oh, Cam. Oh well, we saw all three nonetheless. So while Cam reconnects, we can all vote for our favourite outfit. Also, while we head back up onto the house, I couldn't talk there. But voting has started. You have one minute now to put your votes in for your favourite outfit of the three. So the winner is excellent fashion. Um, if you don't see the poll, you may have to refresh stream or close the app and reopen it if you're on a device. So when you get on back over here, Cam, excellent fashion is the winner. All right, so if Lockie and Tay want to head on backstage for their presentation, we can get going. Outfit one. C. That's not the title you gave me. Okay. Now under oh why did that oh damn it under the sea. Whenever I heard the well whenever they heard the word blue they automatically think of the ocean. Uh, when they personally think of the ocean the first thing that comes to their mind is that is our wildlife. We are so lucky to have some amazing sea friends, and it's important we all play our part to protect them. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society is a non-profit non marine conserv... Oh wow, Joshua. Marine conservation organisation. They have some amazing resources and operations that help our sea life every day. Just this past weekend, they held a beach cleanup in their local area. This is gorgeous. The hat is actually giving me um, Minecraft tropical fish vibes. And I mean, the, uh, the bottom half is adorable and I love it. But the. Ebby! But the, the hat is gorgeous. That is so well done. I love this little outfit. And uh, definitely feeling like I'm under the sea. Gorgeous. I love it. Thank you, Abby. Outfit two. The blues. They've made this outfit black to stand out and demand attention. The blues, or depression, is something that we as a society need to talk about more. If you need help, don't be ashamed to reach out for help, whether it's from a loved one, friend, or somewhere like Beyond Blue. The statistics are way too high, and we all need to stick together. If you are struggling personally, the hotline number for Beyond Blue is 1300 this is such a cool outfit for a simple design, but like such a strong message. This is gorgeous, and I really do love this one. And it's not me, let's, let's just throw some confetti out. But yeah, it is a strong thing, and the statistics are pretty bad in so many areas. And the problem is talking about it, so being able to make a statement is really cool. But if anyone needs it again, it's 13002246 and something a lot of people may not know 
but exclamation mark helpline in my chat if you ever notice anybody having a bad time and it's been here for over a year now uh, we'll give you a link which actually gives the world suicide hotline so if you ever think someone may need help to talk to someone exclamation mark helpline in my chat at any stage and they can pick the one which is relevant to them both on region and possibly age uh, gender sexuality and so on and outfit three, blue balls and waffles. Let's talk about sex, baby. Whether you have blue balls or blue waffle, we all need to talk about our sexual health. Go to your doctor, talk to your friends, ask questions, do your research, and stay protected. It is, um, it actually reminds me, Blue Waffles now always reminds me of a, um, the episode of Muff. God damn it, Ash. It reminds me of those balls on the front. Oh my gosh, that. <laughs> Oh my god, the back of that. But it's a, such a true message though. We also don't talk about sexual health enough and so many people don't even understand simple things. And a lot of the older generations didn't even know how pregnancy worked or anything. So it's pretty good. <laughs> Muff. Minge! Moit! If you ever need to talk about any of those things, please talk to Ash. Always, always happy to have a chat. But no, another great little outfit. I, um, I love that little dancing one too. Alright guys, it is time to vote for your favourite of the three. This... And the winner is Under the Sea with a beautiful amount of votes. So come on back out, Lockie and Tay, with that design on. And you're like, God, one of mine's shit and it wins. But congratulations, a gorgeous little outfit, and it just reminds me of me and Charlotte going to the tropical reef in Minecraft to go catch me some fish for my aquarium, which still needs work, but that is not tonight's game. Alright, Lauren, head on out backstage and get ready. Outfit one, Sailor Moon. Now, she has loved Sailor Moon as a child, so when she thought about some of her favourite characters known for their blue outfits, Serena's dress came to mind. She added a tiara um, used in her famous moon tiara, Magic. Now, I love Sailor Moon. I have and always will. That's actually awesome face art too to add that in. That's really, really cool. I was expecting a tiara on your top of your head because I was reading when you walked out. But this is really, really cool. Um, I, this is what I love about these too. This is a beautiful outfit, really well designed on top of just the blank dress. But we've seen already just in two and a bit people, two and a third, we've seen such variety in thought with the blue theme. So I really, really love this and it's adorable. All right, Lauren, show us your next one. Outfit two, Superwoman. Now, she created this outfit not only to fit in with the blue theme, but to celebrate International Women's Day. For all the wonderful and inspiring super women that we all know and love in our lives. When women support women, incredible things happen. Now this is really cool. The outfit, the design, the little cape, the run down the runway is awesome. But. I have to say, when I saw this written down, I always, I purposely don't read what you guys send me pretty much until it's time to read. Although that would make it better, I like to be as pleasantly surprised with your outfits as everyone else is. But 
Um, I read Superman first off, and a little backstory with Lauren and Superman, which she's probably getting slightly embarrassed now before I tell it. And we are going to find this video, or Lauren will give us the video where it's in it. But Lauren's family, um, or Lauren herself at least, was on Family Feud in Australia a couple years back. And one of the questions when she was called up to the quick round with someone against her uh, was name a profession that ends in man. And Lauren's lightning fast reflexes smashed that button and told the host Superman. And it's fucking hilarious. We are gonna find that video so y'all can see it. But it's a 100% true story. And oh yeah, it's on YouTube. We're gonna find it. But it's great. I remember when Lauren shared the video of it on YouTube once. I was like, no. No. I mean, in the moment, you're just quickly going because you're trying to win. But fuck, it's funny. Alright. And now back on track with Outfit 3. Beach. And now, when she thinks of the colour blue, one of the first things that comes to her mind is water and this beautiful ocean. This outfit is inspired by the waves calmly rolling in onto a sandy beach. Those little love hearts remind me of Charlotte's little love hearts, but this is gorgeous. I love this. I love the colour, the like, ah, this is, this is playing to my colour aesthetics 100%. I love this one. And it's gorgeous. The little shoes and the everything's tied together so well. It is so cute and pretty. I, I really, really love this one. It's not much to say because it's pretty, like, you know, we all know what it is from what Lauren wrote, but it's adorable. Alright guys, before you go watch the funny Lauren video, please do vote in chat for your favourite, um outfit of Lauren's. And the results are in. Beach is the winner, Lauren. Come on, back out. Now guys, don't forget to vote. Because the more votes, the more intense it gets. I don't know. Ignore that last statement. Or don't. Do whatever you want. But Lauren, this is a gorgeous outfit. Definitely had my vote. So, congratulations, Lauren. All right, Lockie, you head on out back for our second last presentation for the night. All right, outfit one, Halo Energy Sword. Sorry, I would have been quicker, but I was watching Lauren say Superman. To kick off his outfits this week is an outfit based on the slightly overpowered energy sword from the Halo series. A noble and ancient weapon wielded by the strongest of Sang... Oh, for fuck's sake. Sanghealy. It requires great skill and bravery to use, and inspi uh, inspires fear in those who face its elegant blue plasma blade. This is really cool. I like this one. It was, it's, um, it's, sorry. It's really cool. I uh, haven't played Halo for a while, but I actually, it's making me want to play now. I only like playing, you know, multiplayer because I'm shit. But, but, it's fun. Outfit 2. Minecraft Diamond. Everybody's favourite Minecraft mineral, there's no better feeling than heading to the mines and finding that beautiful blue diamond or block. This is really cool. I really like it. I think I get the hat reference, I get the diamonds, obviously, now that I know what I'm doing in Minecraft. I say I know what I'm doing, but I don't, baby. Um, 
it's it's really cool i really love the diamond on the front sometimes you guys ace the lighting on stuff and look he's got one more outfit then you can go outside and pee it's really really cool I do love the back too. It's 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 hard because sometimes I don't have a heap to say about an outfit, but that doesn't mean I'm at all less impressed by it. This is really cool, and I really like it. I love the hat too, actually. Although the hat gives me distress because that's usually me. I just feel like I'm stuck between stuff because instead of following someone out, I make my own way. Outfit three. Squirtle. Sweet baby girls. I got kisses. Oh, sorry. Um, when it comes to picking a starter Pokemon, who does Lockie go with? Ah, uh, Squirtle. Why? One word. Blastoise. Yes, Charizard is cool. Mm. Yeah, he's a motherfucking dragon, so he better be. But you know what? Blastoise is a turtle, with guns on his back, fighting a Charizard, Hydro Pump. Gary has a Venusaur and thinks he's going to get a super effective hit on Blastoise. Not on Blastoise, watch motherfucking Ice Beam. Who's super effective now? I think this is so cool. I love this. This is adorable. The hat's like so well done the shell belly looks so great but the back with the tail and everything really really cool i love this one this is so cool i uh, you wouldn't even have to say anything and i already know what it is so i am very very impressed all right so everyone let's start the voting and ooh, 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 ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I'm going to start the voting now. I may be slightly late back because I'm going to use the voting period to take somebody outside. Sorry, I'm unmuted now. Um, the winner is Squirtle, so bring it on back out. And who is a good girl who went to the toilet outside? You were. Charlotte was. Joke, Charlotte doesn't go to the outside anymore. Where's my controller? Oh, Squirtle used Bubble. That's so cute. That is adorable. All right, guys. Time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there we go. It's time for Daddy to show his off. So let's head on backstage and I'll show you what we've got. So here we go with outfit one. Blue. That is BL. Oh, oh. I know screen, Dina. Now, when I think of Blue the, himself, I think of Blue from Foster's Home from Imaginary Friends. Now, Blue is one of my favourite characters from the show. Lively, has a lot to go for him. Now, I can't have to say... Oh, God. I have to say, though, my favourite character from the show is actually his brother, not brother, who I've drawn on the back, Cheese. Now, yes, he may look goofy and pretty badly drawn, but if you've seen the show, this is actually a pretty accurate representation. If you have not seen Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, episode Mac Daddy, you need to watch it. Now, Mac is the guy who imagined Blue, and Blue is able to live at Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends as long as he visits every day he won't get adopted. One day, Mac wakes up with Cheese in his bed, which is the guy on the back, and he's like, oh, he's your brother, so now I have to treat him the same. But he is a little different and weird, and it is one of the goddamn funniest cartoon episodes I have ever, ever seen. It is so good. Okay, 
Okay, so this one was actually suggested by Jake to do, based off sadness from, um... Oh my god, I've just met a plate to the fuck. <laughs> oh my god, can someone give me the name of the movie? I am absolutely blanked. I was talking about it. Thank you, Inside Out. Now, this is more than just a character thing. The reason we look a little blotchy with just solid black eyes is because this is actually based off the pop vinyl of Sadness. Now, Die Hard. Now, funny enough, Sadness was actually the first pop vinyl I ever gave Jake, while Jake gave me King Bob from Minion Movie. And this is, yeah, I know, that's so me, Charlotte, right? This is actually what started our 600 or so pop collection, which isn't stopping anytime soon. So it was something I wanted to do, and that is why the simplistic nature of this one stands like this. I um, will make sure, though, I need to do. Where is it? There it is. Sorry, it's not saying as well. Bit of crying with this one. But it is a cute little one. Now, I did capture pretty well the pop symbol on the back. I couldn't do it as well as I wanted, but that would be impossible on this size. Now you're better get your butts ready because this is amazing. Oh, I didn't do the lights. Whoops. All right, guys. So this one is ocean, or if you want to go with water or sea, but this is based off our Scribblio games. Now, as we know, the easiest way to define water, ocean, or anything else we know is the color blue. So as you can see, this is perfectly capturing exactly, exactly what we have every time we have to do water or ocean in Scribblio. It's just pure art. Nothing can get past this art. This is top tier, absolute design work that anyone who plays Scribblio with us will completely and utterly understand. All right, guys, time to vote. The poll is up in chat, and then we're going to vote for our overall winner. But the winner overall, which is not surprising with the absolute artistic design and utter skill that went into it, is Ocean. So thank you guys for the support, but as I said, this one was going to knock your butts off, and it did. I just don't know what else you could have done to top this. All right, guys, if you'd like to all get up, we'll do a little photo on the runway before we do our votes for the winner overall. All right, guys, let's get our voting on for the winner overall. Let me just type it in. Oh, and it is a dead tie between Lauren and Tay and Lockie, which is awesome. Which means we go to our second tiebreaker ever. Which means I am... This is exciting. So Tay, I'll explain how this is going to work. So Tay, Lockie and Lauren, you head back to your island. We're going to just do some fishing for 10 minutes. Once our fishing competition is finished, you have to head back here. That was five way tie, gosh. You have to head back here. Now, did we do... How many outfits did we do on yours, Lockie? Was it one outfit each to the theme? Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to give you a word. You have 10 minutes to design a, a an outfit to that one thing. All right? So <laughs> Ash wants to go to bed, so be quick. So I'm going to... I'm going to Google it, but I'm not going to put it up on screen because if it's a shit word, I'll just redo it. Baby's still right beside me. Okay, random... Ah, ah! And why aren't we typing? Oh, random word generator. And guys, the theme for this tie-breaking outfit is sneaky. 
S N E A K Y. Sneaky. So however you think, however you think it's gonna best work, you have now ten minutes starting now for you guys to get your outfit done. Remember it's a ten minute challenge, so if you spend too long doing one thing, you won't be able to do it. Alright, time is up. Head on back to the house. And Lauren and Tay and Lockie should be heading over now. Alright. Let us know, Lockie and Tay, when you're ready. Just the same way as you always do. Give your outfit a title and say it in stream and we'll go. Kill them. Well, at least the least favourite ones, Ash. So the info when I asked for it was, we rob peeps with our gas. Stop feeding the child. This is a cute little one. I love the nook on the back. I love the backpack with this one. This is a nice little design. Definitely dark and black for sneakiness. Ow. That's my finger, Kiko. Ow. Cute. But yes, I definitely get the feel of it and I like the accessory look. Good work. We don't have to vote for first outfit. You can take a seat and Lauren, you can head on out back. smelling the gas. Ow! You bit my fucking toe. What do you expect me to do? Go play with your toy, not my foot. Alright, Lauren, what's the outfit name? Oh, no, Lauren's out already. Extra outfit, obviously red. So who is the biggest sneak in Animal Crossing? Well, it's red, of course. Always trying to sell fake paintings and statues to the unwary villager. I like this, this is cute. This is a well done design too. Uh, definitely, definitely a fox. So Ira, you're on track, but I love this one too. All right guys, if you two could take the runway beside each other and I am going to put up the vote for our overall winner. And the winner is Red! So congratulations, Lauren. You are the winner for this month. That was a good tiebreaker. I really liked it. And a tiebreaker is always exciting. And the thing is you don't know what each other's going to do and you can go in different directions. So definitely really good. And both of you had some amazing outfits overall too. So with that win, that means Lauren gets to pick next month's theme order and music so without further ado that means that next month's theme on the first friday of the month providing i don't have any breakdowns or anything will be animals so you guys can go in any direction you want with the theme of animals i already have one idea because i yeah my favorite animals but that's it, guys. Thank you for coming out for the parade this week and voting, joining in in all different ways. Please start thinking. And remember, even if you can't make it on the Friday, if you do organise with or through me, you yes, Ash, cats are an animal, you can easily make sure you take part. And there were great, great outfits. Yeah, you know what, Lucky, we will.